Hello, I am Wander001, and this is my review of the Tautronics TTBR05 Bluetooth receiver. Now, this very small, and I'm going to show you just how small this actually is in a minute, uh, device is meant to be a Bluetooth receiver for hypothetically your car or a headset. I've seen lots of people use it for headsets uh, that were not wireless, but they wanted them to be wireless. Now, the primary reason that I got this was, for whatever reason, the Bluetooth in my car started acting up. So I needed a way to connect my cell phone to my car to receive calls and listen to audio. I went, I found this. It is also popular with people who have gotten iPhones recently that have gotten rid of the headphone jack or the auxiliary jack. This is probably going to be a trend in a lot of newer cell phones. Well, depending on when you're watching this, maybe it's already a standard. But it does seem to be the way that uh, cell phone manufacturers are going. They're getting rid of the 3.5 millimeter plug in their phone so they can no longer use an aux jack to get audio through their car, which most cars do have an audio jack. Some cars do have Bluetooth, but not all. So this little device here will help you with that. So let me talk about the uh, size specifications before I get into some of the other things. Uh, you are looking at a device that is ridiculously small for what it does. It is two inches in height. It has a width or length, depending on how you look at it, of one inch and a depth here of 0 0.4 inches. Size comparison next to a AA battery here give you a, a close look there. This is a particular brand of uh, breath mint. An idea of that. All right. And then the closest thing that I could find is probably find is a nine volt battery here. So take a look at that nine volt battery gives you a rough idea of just how small this Bluetooth receiver is. So let's talk about the rest of the device. We'll take a walk around it. Uh, you are looking at here a rubberized texture, but matte finish. So it's not really gonna collect fingerprints uh, front. Uh, you've got a play pause button right here. This will also be how you pair the device, turn the device off, uh, answer a call. I mean, it, it's really, really uh, simplified. Uh, there's very little minimalist uh, buttons on here. Down here, is a little microphone because you can use this to receive phone calls. We'll talk about that a little later. Coming along the side here, you have this silver band. It's just colorized plastic made to make look fancier. You have your volume rocker right here up and down. This is also your skipping uh, backside here. As you can see, it's just similar to the front, just no buttons on it. Uh, the top there, you have nothing on the opposite side. So we're going to call that the left side. Here is your 3.5 millimeter plug. So you put your jack into that. And on the bottom here is your micro USB uh, plug. So this device is run off of battery, not actually the power of your vehicle. Tautronics says it has a playtime of seven hours with standby time running about 200 hours. Now standby is just, you're not actively using it. It's just hanging out in the background. Uh, I did some tests and I got about six plus, normally like six hours and 15 minutes, but that's also without powering down the device. Uh, so what happens is if the device is disconnected from Bluetooth, it will automatically turn itself off in eight minutes. Now I just let it do that. So in my testing, it kind of ate into some of the actual play time. So if we tap the center button, and this is, this is the one problem I have with this. It is very difficult to see these LED lights but right now it is flashing blue and red because it is trying to look for the paired cell phone that I have with this. If I come down and actually turn my cell phone on or turn the Bluetooth on so that it will pair, there we go. You saw that single flash of blue and then it stopped. That indicates that it is paired. Now that blue double flash there is letting you know that it is still paired to the device and would be able to play. Now, the center button here will play pause, uh, which you are listening to, but you can also tap once to answer a phone call should a phone call come in and then tap 
wants the center button to hang up. Now I did mention that there is a microphone on this. The microphone itself is okay. Call quality is acceptable, it wasn't great. Now the problem is depending on where you have this in your car, and let me uh, show you how to turn off the device. So if you press and hold the center, you see a quick flash of red there, it's off. It's no longer paired with my phone. So it's not eating up battery. I'm gonna talk very quickly right now about the things that come with the device. And that's because placement of this is what affects the microphone. You have this short double ended 3.5 millimeter jack. So you can plug one end into the device itself and then plug it into your aux jack in your car. Now, some cars have it right in the stereo setup. Mine has it in the glove box. So this was not useful. It also comes with a double-ended cable 3.5 millimeter jack. So it gives you a little extension. This was ridiculously short and could not uh, get to where I had my aux jack. They also do throw in a charging cable for it. Uh, the one problem is no wall wart, so you're either going to use one that came with your cell phone or you are going to use it uh, in a computer. Charge time was really nice. It was only two hours to fully charge this, uh, this thing. And remember, that's six plus hours of listening time on a two hour charge with maximum volume. I did forget to mention that part. So when it needs charging, as it's getting close to dying, you will hear an audible chime probably 10 minutes and then five minutes and then three, two, and then it's dead. If you try and power it back on, here you can see what it looks like. It's gonna flash red for you, so you're not actually gonna be able to use it. When you plug it into charge, the LED here is green, and again, very difficult to see in normal lighting unless you shade it. And then when it's fully charged, the light itself goes off. Going back to the microphone here, when I was talking about having this plugged in and having it in your stereo setup. Well, if your stereo is level with you, then the microphone might be able to pick up your voice. However, the long cable that I use to get from my aux jack to this and then set it uh, almost in a cup holder, it's not very good. So if I'm answering a call, I actually have to pick this up and bring it closer to me so that the person can hear me. So just keep that in mind. Now, I'm gonna come across to the side here. I did talk about these very quickly, call them a volume rocker. It is a volume rocker. You have your plus and minus, and this is kind of cool because if you turn the Bluetooth on your phone all the way up, you can then turn the volume on this all the way up. So you actually have like a boost by using this, a volume that you can send to your car. Now, I will say that if you quick tap the volume up or volume down, you are actually going to skip. So there is a 30 second skip. Doing that will 30 second skip. You need to press and hold the volume down or up in order to increase or decrease the volume. When you max out the volume, you will hear a very, very, almost inaudible beep, letting you know that you've reached the maximum or minimum of what the Tautronics Bluetooth can do. Now, when you first attach this to your car, if you're playing absolutely nothing, you may hear a little hum or static. I assure you, once you start listening, that will go away. And it also depends on how loud you have the volume set for this. Audio quality, I really just listen to audio podcasts, so that's just somebody talking. Uh, I have heard some people say that it's not really good with uh, the bass and treble. I'm not an audiophile. If I hear something coming out of it that doesn't sound like junk, I'm happy. So just keep that in mind. If you're a super audiophile, I cannot speak to how well it will do in that instance. You can also connect to two Bluetooth devices with this. Now, the one caveat with that is only one can be feeding this audio. So if you have two phones set up, that's kind of cool. You know, if I'm taking a road trip with my wife, I want to play something from my phone, then she wants to play something from her phone, we can have them both connected to this and then one gets to play, but not at the same time. So the big question is how much does this little thing cost? Well, Depending on Amazon sales or where you get it, obviously I got it from Amazon. I got it for $11 on a lightning deal. Uh, average price seems to be about $15. If you have a car that does not have Bluetooth built in or you don't have a phone anymore that has an auxiliary jack, I would highly suggest looking at the Tautronics little Bluetooth receiver here. Again, it doesn't take up that much space at all. It's, it's the size pretty much of a nine volt battery. So 
if you enjoy having wireless audio to your car, and, and at one time I did just plug in an audio jack into my phone and then had the cable running to my aux. It was, it was a mess. I wanted Bluetooth, I wanted wireless, I wanted to be able to move the phone around. This solved that problem for me, and it might solve your problem too if that's something you are looking for. So I would recommend if uh, you're looking for a Bluetooth solution for your car and don't mind spending you know, $15-ish, uh, Tautronics Bluetooth receiver here is definitely worth checking out. I have been Wanderer001. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the area below. And as always, thanks for watching.